name is uh, Dr. Abraham Gabrometin. I'm a scientist with the International Nervous Research Institute, particularly working on, with the IPMS, Improving Productive Market Success Project of uh, Ethiopian Farmers. The training was about uh, results-based monitoring and evaluation. And basically, you know, capacity on monitoring and evaluation in Ethiopia is, is really uh, not there. It's very, very, very weak and very low. So, and then the government now has started implementing this grand project called Agricultural Growth Program in four of the major regions or four of the island regions in Ethiopia. And since IPMS itself had an inbuilt monitoring and evaluation process, and out of which uh, a, a manual on results-based monitoring and evaluation was developed, so we were we were happy and and, 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 and and volunteered to help in building that capacity. So this program, this training program, is as a result of as a result, as a result of that. The trainees came from the four regions of Amhara, Tigray, Oromia, and the, and the south. And these are all AGP personnel and also members of the AGP technical committee. First of all, we try to introduce uh, what results-based monitoring evaluation is. Why is it, it is needed in the first place? How it is different from the traditional uh, implementation-based monitoring and evaluation? And then we went on to uh, discuss the, the foundations of conducting results of monitoring and evaluation, which means basically the preparation of the logic model of the project or the performance chain of the project. And then from the logic model of the performance chain of the project, the development of what we call performance measurement, uh, sorry, performance framework, which essentially means mapping out the relationship between resources, activities, um, outputs and outcomes and impact. And then from there, we discuss also how to develop performance measurement framework, which means uh, which, which, which is which essentially serves as the basis for data collection to do the monitoring evaluation proper. And then we discussed about uh, uh, participatory monitoring evaluation because these days, unless stakeholder, well, these days the, the need for stakeholder involvement in monitoring evaluation has become very important and significant. And therefore, we then discussed why a participatory monitoring evaluation is needed and, of course, also what the different techniques could be in doing participatory monitoring evaluation. And then from there we went on to discuss uh, um, uh, how indicators can be selected and then how indicators can be specified so that they could be better measured in, in, uh, in, uh, in, in the field. And then from there we went on into how data collection can be organized and implemented and of course how data analysis can also be, uh, can also be done. And then Based on this, we discussed how or uh, what are the different approaches to develop uh, monitoring evaluation report and how that can be disseminated. There are different methods of disseminating monitoring evaluation report. So we discussed the different uh, uh, dis dissemination methods and of course we emphasized during this session the need, the critical need for reporting uh, results in time because monitoring and evaluation results that are reported in time are more or less not very useful. And therefore, then, from there, we discussed critically the need to institutionalize and um, sustain monitoring evaluation uh, unit or activity in a particular organization. And then, so, in, in this respect, we discussed why uh, is it that so far the institutionalization of monitoring evaluation is not that strong in many developing countries and, of course, in Ethiopia also. And then we discuss also what can be done to better institutionalize and sustain monitoring evaluation units in organizations, particularly in the Ministry of Agriculture and also in the different uh, uh, bureaus of the regions, and then of course perhaps also beyond beyond the regions and the other zones and the zonal level also. So my overall assessment of this, by the way, one important uh, aspect of this training was that the training, the lecture component of this training was more or less 30 percent of the time. The rest was used to was used for uh, practical sessions, practical exercises, and then reporting on practical exercises. That way, I think uh, also as we can see from the evaluations that the train is made, uh, that helped really the, the participants to better internalize and also appreciate the practical application methods of, of the evaluation. So. Uh, lectures were, lecture time was about 30% of the whole training period, 
and then 40% of the time was for for practical exercise so to, of the trainees to, to to do their practical work and then 40% of the time was for for the for the groups again to come back and report to the whole group so what's expected from the train is uh, maybe i think categorized into two first of all this is this was a tot train and therefore after the training they are supposed to go to their respective regions and then give training to the rest of the staff there who are, who are involved in monitoring evaluation not only at the regional level but also at the zonal level and then from there down to the Woreda and then from there also to the PA level to the DS that's one the second thing is uh, they are supposed to lead the overall monitoring and evaluation activity of the AGP at the regional level which means they may be for instance involved in developing uh, indicators they could be involved in uh, leading and, and guiding data collection uh, activities. They definitely will be responsible to generate reports to, to, to be submitted either to the, to the regional uh, officials or to the, to the Ministry of Agriculture or to donors. So you can classify the responsibility to, to basically one is to this since the TOT they have to go down and train people who are necessary for the work. And then they also are people who should now be able to lead and, and guide and be responsible for implementing the monitoring evaluation and also writing reports and submitting reports in time.